Welcome to chapter 11 of How to Make It in the New Music Business by Ari Herstand. This chapter is super relevant right now because um, obviously with the pandemic, shows are pretty much shut down worldwide. So this is how to master the internet. And this is something I've been really working on for the past couple months and I've learned so much. And I feel like social media gets a really bad rap, but once you understand it and learn how to work with it as opposed to against it, it can be a really powerful tool. So I really encourage people to follow the advice in this chapter and um, use it as a tool to, to grow your... It's really important advice. But moving on from that, he starts off with uh, building your website and what should go on your website. I use Wix. You can use Squarespace. Um, I think there's a couple other, but like there's super easy and streamlined websites to set up your um, your band website, and you can make them look pro, and you don't need to hire somebody. Also, learn how to work your pixels, so you can set up um, pixels on your website so that anybody who visits or buys from your website you can target them with Facebook ads and that's a really powerful way of retargeting which is super important for marketing because people generally don't buy something after one view of it they need to be um, constantly reminded before they actually move to make the purchase so um, setting up your pixels really important and this is another way um, to take control of your own platform. You know, you're not at the whim of Facebook when you have your own website set up. You can make it your own thing and people know where to find you. So it's really important to have your own website. What should go on your site? Obviously, um, you want to have your music on there. Make it obvious, but don't have like the autoplay because it's really annoying for people when they visit your website and um, you're just like music starts blasting in their headphones maybe their volumes way super loud and then it can just be really annoying so don't have it on autoplay but make it obvious of how to how people can listen to it have a video your best video front and center a mailing list sign up make it really prominent and give them an incentive to sign up something free uh what people call in marketing a lead magnet have your show dates um whenever shows come back and and photos have have some nice um press photos because like i do this for my um interview for my podcast is i'll just like go onto someone's website and take a photo instead of like having the back and forth and like trying to get that info from them i just go to their website and take a photo so make sure you have good photos up on your website so people can just grab them and uh, it can save a lot of back and forth having your song lyrics should be a tab on your website i think that's a pretty cool idea um, have your bio press your contact um, list email addresses to humans not just a contact form because contact forms are super um, impersonal and they can feel weird sending off. I know personally from sending off emails for um, my podcast, I'd much rather be able to bring it into my Gmail and be able to send a send a email. Have your social links, obviously, Facebook, Twitter, Spotify, whatever else you may be on. Make sure it's easy for fans to buy your merch or your music. And it's good to have some extras like a blog, if but only if you're actually going to be um, updating it frequently. There's no point in having one that you update twice a year. And then have a hidden page of your EPK, your electronic press kit. Have a hidden page on your site that you can send the link to industry folks that you're um, connecting with, like um, booking agents and stuff like that. Then he lists some places you need to be online, something called Music Brains, which I had never heard of until I read this chapter. Um, if you set it up, you can get your profile sidebar in the Google searches. Also, apparently, it's one of the most used sources by tech companies 
but most artists have never heard of it. I, like I said, I hadn't, so it can be apparently quite useful. Wikipedia, set it up as soon as possible. You need enough press for the site to allow you to be on it, but um, once you get your press, try and set it up as quick as possible. And then Genius, formerly known as Rap Genius, is a good place to have your lyrics up. You can do little annotations so people can check out um, and sort of get acquainted with your music. It's a good way to build intimacy with fans, I think. And then we move into content creation, which is a topic that I'm really interested in learning about. Um, obviously, if you follow my Instagram, you see that I'm posting pretty consistently and trying to build like decent content. So um, I found this part really interesting. How to succeed online. He says growing on a platform online is about the long game. You want to be consistently um, putting stuff out, defining your voice, building a connection with your audience and staying consistent and top of mind and also collaborating is important as well. Pick one local artist, one regionally touring artist, one indie nationally touring artist, a major label nationally touring artist, and one worldwide superstar and study how they use social media because um, it's a great way to just sort of understand, especially once you understand the basics of the platform, you can go on to other people's um, social media and you can be like, okay, I know what you're doing and I like what you're doing. Um, and then just take some ideas. Make sure you always keep it authentic, but yeah, it's good to steal ideas and, um, and bring them back to your, to your own space. Pick um one big platform that you want to really understand for me i've been really diving into instagram um, it's where my audience is it's where the people i want to work with are so that's what i've been doing and it doesn't mean ignore the others like i still post on facebook i still post on youtube but i'm making an effort to understand instagram especially before i dive into something else Focus your efforts on growing uh, engagement and your audience. And yeah, take notes from other artists, but make sure you stay authentic. And he goes through sort of the specifics of what different platforms, how you should act on different platforms, which is really important because you want to be speaking in the language of the platform that you're working on. Um, then finally... I think something else to touch on which people um, for some reason don't believe in or don't agree with is Facebook ads and Instagram ads. You can get insanely specific with um, Facebook and Instagram ads. I've run a few. Um, I'm definitely no master of the ad game, but like you can get so so specific and once you figure out like who's reacting to your music you can reach more and more of them and um people for some reason think that it's like whack to do but you got to put money into marketing um if you want to be a professional so i think that every artist if you're not at least learning how to do it you should be hiring somebody to do it um especially around release times because it's such a powerful way to break out of your little like bubble that you've created you know your natural warm market of all your friends and your family and the scene your local scene this is how you can like pay to just break out of that bubble and just be seen by a much, much larger audience for really not that much money at the end of the day. Um, you want to do it smart because you can waste a lot of money doing it and you want to study and learn how to um, learn how to run your ads and how to target your ads and know why you are running your ads as well. But they're super powerful. So... Um, so I would really suggest looking into it or finding someone who is really good at doing it and hiring them. That's pretty much it for the 
um, for how to master the internet. There's a lot more in the chapter. As always, you should check out the book because there's so much good stuff in it. Um, but that's pretty much what I wanted to, to go through. And yeah, I hope that these are useful and take care.